Yeah, hi Vinas. Uh, very, very good morning. Hope you're doing good. So, we last uh, session we had a discussion that I'm going to take few questionnaire, basing upon which I'll try my best to help most of you in upgrading your scores, in making your preparation better. Okay. So, here is uh, the main consent of recording this session is um, most of the questionnaire will be overlapped. Means they may have the similar questionnaire. So it's going to be impossible for me to discuss one on one. Okay, so if if there is any overlapping, you can just go with the same pattern of suggestions. Okay, keeping that in mind. So and I already told that we are not going to disclose the name of the student. Okay, so this student is from Nasik. Um, internship is done. Okay, so internship is done. And now it is a full time preparation domicile uh, reason why domicile i have added is to know the state of counseling so domicile is basically useful for state counseling okay so it is basically you are from which origin okay so it's not open category ews open category ews comes under category that is right okay category or reservation that is right ews we will consider but domicile is basically i want you to uh, let me know you are from which state or you are uh, eligible to which state counseling so that if you are uh, targeting for a state counseling or a private college or a semi-government college seat then we can slightly modify the schedules keeping that in mind not absolutely mandatory but if you provide me i'll get a better uh, idea over you and so that i can help you in your guiding uh, the next one is uh, also this timings i want proper timings okay right uh, when you're going to start your day with the book okay so what are your breaks when you have your breakfast do you, do you are you having any sort of activity break in the morning okay or are you taking a nap in the afternoon again evening you're having any activity walking or something exercise or gym or anything and how you're taking breaks and how you're managing time so what is your routine schedule that is the main reason of uh, adding uh, the timing okay it's not simply like morning because i cannot address each and every one of you i'm telling so people who are going to send me okay from now please do uh, do these modifications okay study pattern is basically you're mentioning the checklist okay it should be mentioned under checklist okay uh, previously covered subjects i think it is uh, all, all four modules, I think, all the subjects, if I'm not wrong, not clear again. So uh, do mention in the form of modules because you're already done. Like, for example, you're done with module one, two, three. So do mention I'm done with one, two, three. I'm going with four or I'm done with one, two, three, four with few subjects which are not done. Subjects which are not done, you can mention in the subjects which are not covered. For example, in module one, you have not covered pedo or in module two, you have not covered biochemistry okay something like that okay so timings i want proper timings your daily routine i want okay so that i'll split the day and i'll try to accommodate okay right so for this particular student we don't know exactly how many hours uh, she's preparing for the entrance examination okay so as it is a full-time preparation i'm considering a minimum of 10 hours okay because the data is not provided properly okay so timings is i'm considering it as 10 hours of reading time okay so now I, I'm just trying to analyze uh, your scores. Okay, luckily uh, you have given exams. Module one is around like 350 plus, two is 350 plus, three is 350 plus. Uh, if I just, uh, from my prospect to, uh, module one is easy. Two is difficult. Three is again easy. Okay, but your scores are all, almost the same with one or two MCQs difference. Okay, so you are maintaining a range of 350 to 360 score. Okay, right. So now I'll give you suggestions so that uh, because anyway, you're a full time reader. So I'll try to give you suggestions so that I want your scores to get improved to minimum 450 to 500 in the next 15 days. Okay, right. So just now I'll go back and try to analyze your checklists. Uh, so your checklist is, uh, I don't know exactly what synopsis it is basically, whether you're going with PP book synopsis or pulse synopsis, uh, what MCQs? Please do mention MCQs clearly what MCQs. Yes, PYQs is a nice option, right? Power ProLive, okay, you have somewhere around like 65 to 70 classes of ProLive. Yeah, nice option. Bootcamp series videos, yes. And you are giving exams. I hope you are giving the model exams. 
now i'll try to make your schedule your checklist minimalistic okay because we want to improve the scores by 100 150 score has to be improved because your checklist is very nice but i don't know how effective you are in the checklist so rather than uh, covering a very huge aspect okay uh, covering very huge aspect for example your checklist is very huge okay so if you are perfect with this checklist you can easily by this time you can easily cross 550 to 600 scores but you are not able to achieve that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make your checklist minimalistic because our target is now 450 to 500 but i want you to do this minimalistic checklist for more than two to three times means i want more rounds of revision i want to i want you to revisit the same question again and again same concept again and again same slide again and again same video again and again minimum two to three times so that it will be easy for you to grab that 450 to 500 score because you are consistent how i can tell this is because you have given all the exams very good module one you're given module two you're given module three you're given you're giving exams okay but main concern is i want you to do more rounds of revision okay right so uh, anyway i don't know uh, whether you're going with module four exclusively now or uh, planning the schedule accordingly but i want to remodify your checklist okay so how i want to remodify your checklist because i hope you you are already done with most of the pro live sessions because you are a pro live student as you have mentioned it so pro live classes are very very important for a pro live student they are very important okay and i hope you have taken the printout of of, of all the pro live classes and i hope you have attend the pro live sessions written the answers written the explanation part or some add-ons whatever it is i want you to redo all the pro live sessions at least two to three times and i hope you're already done you have already underlined few things i'm not very clear about that okay but make sure when once you're doing the first time do it full fledgedly second and third time do it precisely means for example you have a bulk of pro live classes for example all together i told you right 65 roughly 65 to 70 are there and each pro live session is of two two and a half hours and if you just cut short it uh, each pro live class uh, printouts can be uh, around like uh, i mean like roughly around like uh, 50 to 70 questions may be covered now once you're doing for the second round make sure i don't want you to do all the mcqs i want you to do precise mcqs means mcqs which are linked to classifications mcqs which are linked to memory based mcqs which are linked to multi options okay multi options means questions is question is slightly tough rather than mcq which is straight away for example i can ask you this particular gene is associated with uh, uh, which of the following uh, syndrome or which of the following disease that is a straight line okay so for that uh, for that you don't need to go dig back and everything okay you can simply see it close it off but for example if a question is on uh, a particular syndrome exclusively on the clinical features of a syndrome so it is mandatory to revise the clinical features so that the revision is going to happen because it can be inclined to memory based or for example there is a question on classification so along with the class whatever that is me being mentioned in the question you need to check out other class other other subtypes other class other parts of the classification also such a things requires revision so in second round and third round i want you to focus on the revision part quick revision part for example in the first round for a pro live session you are taking like two hours in the second round it should be uh, maybe less than an hour and in third round it should be 20 to 30 minutes only such a way you are going to get command over the question one second thing you'll be command you will get a good command over the concept and you'll have a revision so once you get all these things your confidence to a particular concept or a particular question will be improved so that is going to help you in the examination okay yeah, that's going to help you in the examination once you keep a tick mark one once you keep a tick mark to a question with a high confidence level that will definitely improve your scores by a larger number okay the first thing i want you to because you're all assuming that you're already done with the pro live sessions because you're a pro live student i want you to uh, check out the pro live okay the second thing the second thing okay is pyqs is pyqs again pyqs in the first round i want you to i want you to mark the things 
things which you don't know things which are not not able to recollect okay so mark those things and those mark things has to be done second and third things which you know one time is sufficient things which you don't know you have to go for the second and third time also once you're done with this then i want you to go with quick revision you did not mention quick revision in your schedules quick revision and boot camp for a particular subject quick revision and boot camp for a particular subject i want you to focus on okay right and for example you are already done with a particular concept or a particular slide or a particular classification in a pro life in a pro life similar question can be repeated in the pyqs so such a question has to be answered immediately and you have to skip it so that you can save the time and similar slide or a similar concept can be repeated in the boot camp also so that you have to skip that part so you have to focus on things which you don't know so keep on revising the things which you don't know that's what i'm telling okay that's what i'm telling here i have clearly mentioned you that i want you to focus more on round 2 on things which you don't know round 3 on things which you don't know second time third time things which you don't know in quick revision and boot camp also i i want you to repeatedly focus on things which you don't know okay right rather than for example you are already familiar with elise classification which is discussed in the pro live endo part you have a question here answer it no need of going for explanation part wasting the time because you are already familiar with the classification now the similar classification can be discussed in either quick revision or boot camp so that part has to be skipped for example if i am taking 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes to discuss elise classification which are already exposed in the pro live now what you have to do is skip that part you you have a cursor right you have a cursor you have 2x 3x the video speed is there so i want you to keep it in a high speed go to 3x click on 3x the video will go fast and wait for the things which you don't know okay so i want you to follow these three things okay the triad of these three things for now this is exclusively for you okay one is pro live revision pyqs and boot camp and of course you test your knowledge by attending an activity in the evening in the whatsapp because in, i can openly say uh, in the last one month we have discussed around like 700 to 800 questions exclusively only on the whatsapp 700 to 800 concepts were discussed on the whatsapp in one month and of course in the last two days we have done uh, somewhere around like 80 to 80 to 100 concepts of 2023 quick revision lots of things we are doing every day evening one hour we are gathering and in the last two days we have done 100 uh, 100 concepts in the whatsapp and in the last one month in the last one month okay we have done more than 800 plus concepts on the whatsapp so evening you try to come out spend some time with the whatsapp activity so that's going to give you some extra uh, energy okay exchange of energy it doesn't uh, i mean like it, it's not mandated that you have to go for a right answer for every question whatever you know you throw it if you don't know try to learn it and try to move ahead okay so this triad i uh, 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 i want you to focus more on along with this triad i want you to check out this whatsapp activity evening whatsapp activity so this is a suggestions for you uh, pakka 100 percent is okay so please try to implement them and i want uh, the only suggestion from my side keeping your consistency in mind because maintaining consistency is so difficult so post your post internship you you whatever you're doing whatever you're following you are giving exams on a regular base that is that sounds really extraordinary okay very few students has this mindset of giving exam whatever may be your level of preparation uh, whatever may be your level of course scores even if your scores are not giving confidence you are a particular individual or a particular student who is always giving exams okay so that is that sounds very great uh, uh, very great future in you okay that, that that defines what you are basically so my uh, su strong suggestion for you is because you are having almost all the important things but uh, i think revision is lacking okay means you are not uh, rereading the things again okay rather than going for a wide range of preparation now cut short the things let's focus on precise things revise them two to three times and this will definitely improve your scores uh, in a very very short like for example like in a, in a one week or a two weeks time you will definitely hit that 450 to 500 score which is uh, more uh, more than 100 or 150 plus to your old scores okay so i hope you are going to implement this i hope this video is useful for you along with others who fall in the uh, 
uh, same questionnaire okay so we'll be coming uh, with one more uh, short short session of uh, suggestions uh, for the next student okay so take care study well see you very very soon bye